Hey everybody, this is Perch. Uh, let's get to another video that uh, people will find something. Well, actually, you know what? I don't know that this one will be caught. Maybe this is just me being um, Pollyanna here. Uh, but, uh, I, you know, maybe nobody's going to find this controversial. Because actually, when you get past the kind of mail that I'm about to read, I mean, I, I don't know. Is there that much drama that can, we can get into? I mean, the internet always finds a way. But let's see, uh, let's see what we can do. Uh, mail goes, hey, Perch, what is the true definition of successful? For many years, the definition of successful was a comic that sold out at the comic shop. But then comic shops started ordering fewer copies of a comic and selling out really didn't mean much anymore. Turns out there's a big difference between selling out of 200 comics or selling out of five. While five comics selling out may be a success for the comic shop owner because they have fewer things to take to the quarter bin, selling out of 200 copies is sure a hell of a lot better. So my question is really, what is success for a comic? You see lots of people on Twitter and even in your very own comment section talking about Eric July's massive ISOM success, but is it really successful? You don't hear it being talked about anywhere outside of groups on Twitter and the occasional comment board. Other than that, it's dead as a doornail. Sure, it made a lot of money, but is it going to make a lot of money month after month or year after year? Or is this a singular uh, singular uh, man staring at an accident on the side of the highway sort of situation? I have not heard that analogy before. Um, anyway, let's, let's, wrap, let's wrap up the mail and then we'll get to it. Lots of people are citing success. Mark Brooks will cite success for the comic industry and take credit for it even though the numbers of success are not all that impressive and mainly being driven from comics he has nothing to do with, nor ever will. So what is the true bar of success? Interested to hear your answer and to hear the whiny man. Okay, I'm not going to uh, finish that mail. No, come on. I mean, a a ask the questions. It's fine. But, but you know, anyway. Plus, there's a handful of words that I desperately would love, uh, you know, eliminated from <laughs> the, the language of the internet. Um, my dude is one of them. Fuck that. That is an annoying as hell thing. And man babies is also uh, right up there. But anyway, so what's the definition of success? I, I mean, so I, I, I guess it, you have to, you have to define what your definition of success is. Is it notoriety? Is it financial? Is it longevity? Those are all different qualities. And I think you can say, hey, making, you know, uh, whatever July made, you know, millions of dollars off of the comic is a financial success for July. Is it a success for the comic industry? I mean, I, no, not really. It's a success for, for, um, for him. I, I don't, I mean, is he trying to participate in the comic industry or is he trying to kind of sell a comic for him. I, I you know, I, I mean, those, those, that's a legitimate question. You know, I, I, my, I don't think that, you know, again, what's his end game? Is his end game to build up a brand on this comic and then sell it to image? Is that his goal? I don't think that's his goal. I, I, I don't, I have no idea what his goal is, but I don't think that's it. Is his goal to, you know, get the property bought by Marvel a la Miracle Man? Is that the goal? Again, don't, don't think so. Uh, but put it this way, you know, if, if Marvel came and said, wow, this is a huge brand and clearly getting a lot of uh, success and we'll give you $50 million for it, would he sell to Marvel? Oh, fuck yeah, he's going to sell to Marvel at that money. I'm, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> lots, of, lots of people can be high-minded about, uh, no, no, he would never sell out. I mean, Jesus Christ, if somebody gives you that check, you're, you're taking that check. But Marvel's also not going to give that check, not unless um, he... Now, if he sold this comic at that volume, you know, once a quarter, every quarter for like two, three years, then that's going to show longevity, which is a different measure of success. I think longevity matters as a measure of success. A lot of people tend to hand wave that around, especially lately, because it's like, oh, no, I got a, I got a limited series. I got a comic. Look, I wrote a one story for an anthology somewhere in, you know, in Marvel. I, uh, or I, I did a crowdfunding comic and I got a lot of money, you know, once every two years. I, those are all interesting things and certainly making a lot of money 
off something is is worthwhile and you know if you had a lifelong dream to crack into marvel and you wrote an anthology for marvel that's a definition of success on a personal level for sure but to me uh, you know I, and i guess this is me taking the long view one of the most important factors for success in in my mind is time it's it's not did you make a lot of attention this month it's are you able to sustain that attention for years and in the world of comic books, that's making comics. So, I, you know, I, I think people mix things up. I, you know, I, look, there's a lot of people on Twitter, which with hundreds of thousands of followers, people who are left wing, right wing, journalists, uh, all kinds of people. I mean, Pat Oswald has a shitload of Twitter followers. I think that definition of his success is pretty fleeting and or stupid. I mean, you know, I, and now that Elon Musk is maybe buying the platform, is Oswald, who said that Musk is a complete, you know, shithead, is he going to leave Twitter? Is he going to kill his account? Is he going to be like Eric Larson and kill his account out of protest for Musk buying Twitter, but then actually reactivate it a couple days later? Because he's got 30 days, you can do that. Um, probably that one. Did people give Eric Larson shit for reactivating his account after he said, that does it, I'm out, I'm not putting up this fascist platform anymore, and then what, he's back on in a week. You know, as, 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 uh, as Morty says, nobody quits Twitter. But what it, what is, so the definition of success, it's like there's lots of them. I mean, from if, face facts, if you are making six figures in comics, you know, in profit, actual profit, not, you know, gross, then, you know, I, I think that, you know, that's, that's success. And by that definition, lots of people are successful. Dan Slott's successful. Tom Taylor's very successful. Lots of people are successful. Tamara Bond villain is successful. Uh, but but is it is the the real definition of success is the real bar of sex, success 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 you know seven figures? Okay, then there's definitely some names uh, that have made seven figures, both in the mainstream in the big two, and outside of the big two. Is it seven figures a year? Okay. Is it said, you know, what, what is it? Is it your ability to draw money versus your ability to make money? I, I, I think you get to define the success. And I think a lot of people are quick to throw out, you know, this was a success that may be a personal success. And then they measure it against a corporate success, which is measured under very different you know, criteria. Uh, at the end of the day, um, I don't, I mean, I guess the answer is, do you feel successful? Do you feel proud of what you've done? Then congratulations, you're successful. That, that easy. No, seriously. I, I mean, I think almost anything else gets into insane territory because you always can, can take it to a different level and a different level and a different level. Lots of people are like, this crowdfunding campaign is a success. And then Keanu Reeves comes around and does, you know, his, you know, berserker, berserk, not berserker, berserk. And then, you know, not for sure, for sure. What the fuck am I talking about? And, and never, never mind. I'm tired. I'm, I'm goddamn tired. Um, for sure. It's, everything's flowing together now. Jesus. Um, anyway, Keanu Reeves makes money, you know, blows things out of the water. Now that's the new bar. Now Eric July has made a lot of money. Now that blows things out of the water. Uh, but the reality is Marvel and DC um, are making, are making more profit than Eric July this year. Both of them are going to make more profit. Image is going to make more profit. Hell, I mean, I, I, I don't know. You probably you can get into kind of mad cave some of those companies. Some of those companies are making more profit. But then, then you can say, well, wait a minute. Now you're comparing one individual's efforts to a established comic company. That's not fair. You're, you're right. That's not fair. So th that's why we're, all this is kind of silly. The answer is accomplishments, making hell not not even making millions of dollars making you know tens of thousands of dollars if you're making a profit and you're living your dream and you're doing something on crowdfunding and you turn it congratulations you know i, I think that's a success look larry king's uh, comic that that i helped put out uh that uh, the jim and i jump comic was a success it was a success through crowdfunding it's a success through selling it in the stores we were we were proud of it did it make as much money as isom no not even close not even remotely close. Still taking it as a success. You can call that, you know, ah, yeah, but the, the problem is if you're going to measure things that way, somebody can come around bigger than you. 
the X office, the X comics sold more than Eric July in 2022. They did. Financially, they absolutely did. But only a fool would would try and make the argument that way. It's a, it's a lunacy argument. It's like saying, uh, hey, you know, you, you sold uh, Dogman, sold a lot of books, but, uh, you know, call me when he sells as much as J.K. Rowling did with Harry Potter. Then, then we'll talk. But what, we're supposed to diminish millions of books being sold from Dogman because J.K. Rowling sold more millions of books with Harry Potter? I mean, that, that's absurd. It's just, it's just absurd. So at the end of the day, you get to pick your own definition. To me, the, uh, the, the definition of success that I think gets overlooked a lot, but in many ways is the true definition of success. It's longevity. It's like, great, you could, a lot of people can do something once and do something twice. Can you do it for a year? Can you do it for many years? I think people who can go in, sweat it out, and get something done year after year, I think that they, those, those people deserve a lot, of, a lot of credit, a lot of props. It is, uh, as humans, as, as people, we can rally and get something done. But to get up the next morning and go do it again and again and again, there's something, you know, that that's pretty powerful. And I think it, uh, it, get, it gets overlooked a lot. Anyway, I'll throw it to the audience now. What's your definition of success? Let's see if we can keep people from getting all tied up around the bend around uh, what July did or didn't do or Marvel. Or, I mean, because like, like I pointed out, which I'm sure some people are still going to take umbrage off, but it's just a fact. You can always find a bigger you know, fish in this ocean. If you're willing to not do apples to apples comparisons, you can certainly do it. If you're going to take a single issue of a comic to a single issue of a comic, okay. But if you do that, then, you know, somebody can easily play gotcha and throw in manga or some other thing and, and reset the clock again. So, I mean, it, it, it's all, it, it gets to be a silly game after a while. I guess that's my point. But if, if you have a better answer, by all means, throw it in the comments below. Like and subscribe, of course, and thanks for listening.